Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna jump right into it. That's why I don't have any makeup on yet. This review is going to be on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It is a foundation. I also picked up the concealer. It says corrector. Oh no. I also picked up a concealer, so I have no makeup on right now. That way I can go through the steps with you and show you how the foundation applies, how the concealer applies and how they work together because that's a big factor as well a foundation could be good but sometimes things won't layer on top of it great and while i'm applying it i'll just go over some of the details so if you don't follow me on snapchat or instagram you should probably do that now it's at tina k pro mua and that's where i post a lot of my first impressions and how things last throughout the day and box openings and just a bunch of stuff like that and instagram is just really fun because the pictures are prettier and you know the deal so i'm gonna get started with priming my face first and then trying this foundation um my skin is troubled skin this looks really dramatic for no reason it's really not even that serious <laughs> i think i was touching it so it got super red my skin is sensitive so I'll get breakouts even though I don't really have too much acne this whole side cleared up and these are just red spots left over and this side is still clearing up and it's super red for no reason so this foundation is also going to go through the test of how it covers acne and how it works with sensitive skin first I have to throw my hair back it was freezing today, so that's why I'm just in like a cozy long sleeve shirt and not all glammed up. Sometimes when it's too cold, I can't be glam. I just want to can, but I can't. So my hands are clean because that's something that really uh, makes me stressed when I have to apply stuff with my hands. But I really love using the Ole Henriksen Pure Truth Activating Oil to prime my skin, so I'm doing that first. I didn't want to do anything out of the norm to test out this foundation, but you should always moisturize and prime your skin anyway. And this is just a basic vitamin C oil. And just to minimize my pores, I'm using the Estee Edit Pore Minimizing Stick over where I have a lot of pores. Now that my face is primed, I'm gonna shake this up. Oh, you can see my, I went to the gym too. So I got the shade Golden Beige, and this foundation is only $6, and that's why I've been so excited to review it, because I've never tried a Wet n Wild foundation product before, um, foundation before, what, what did I say? I've never tried a Wet n Wild foundation before. I've tried, I've tried a ton of their products. I've actually done a Snapchat takeover with them, and they've sent me stuff before, but they did not send me the new line of products. Sometimes that happens. So everything new you see in store, I did not get any of it. I only purchased one foundation and one concealer. I went all over the drugstores on Staten Island last weekend looking for these. Um, and they did have the concealers and the foundations. They did have the setting powder. The reason why I only got one of each is because I wasn't in love with the shade range. And I didn't want to buy a bunch because all of the shades, I don't know if it was the glass bottle, but all of the shades looked so similar. I don't know if it was the lighting and I don't know what was going on, but all the shades look so similar. So I was thinking like, why am I gonna invest and purchase a bunch if I don't know if I like it? And if all the shades look so similar, it was just annoying to me. So I'm glad the price point is so low, but I didn't wanna invest in a bunch of different ones for my kit until I tried it out. I'm just carrying on now. So basically this is $6, it's available online at whitewinals.com and it's in the store and they didn't send it to me. I purchased this myself, I was Snapchatting while I was there and I only got two things so far. So I shook it up and I'll show you what the applicator looks like. The applicator has a little spatula and I'm sure you're supposed to go like this and drop it all over your face but that's not really hygienic so I don't do it that way. If you at home will just do this, but you're just going to repeat germs, I don't care what anybody says. That's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Okay, so I put a bunch on my little palette. 
On the back it says goodbye photo flashback, which means flashback means when you take a picture and your skin looks ghost white or ashy. If you're a deeper skin tone, it's gonna look ashy. But basically, whatever's in your makeup is causing a really bright reflection when there's a flash and something on my nose. And it's not going to look good in pictures. So basically, Wet n Wild was trying to say, we got you, girl. And we tested this under every lighting, and that's not going to happen to you, um, which is really, really great. So I'm excited about that. I love any foundation that looks amazing on camera. The last two days, I've been applying this foundation with my favorite foundation brush, and this is Eve Pearls 201. I've been applying with the regular brush side. It's basically a perfect perfect match for me oh my god I noticed that the last two days too I was thinking like this is literally the best foundation color I've ever purchased and I have the shade golden beige in MAC terms I'm an NC 30 to a little bit lighter I've never bought a little bit lighter but basically I'm an NC 30 or more tan so I usually get around this shade and then just add bronzer if I self tanned a little bit more. So a tiny bit goes a long way. I might have actually put on too much. So I'm gonna take the Kabuki side and blend it out. And here is the super red side that you just saw and I did not color correct it. And it covered it pretty well. I could still see some purple and redness, but that's also because I was just messing with it. <laughs> When it's calmed down, it's definitely not that red. So that will fade away naturally. But I would say the coverage at first impression is pretty great. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It's so thin and it's blending out so well. So this is how I've been wearing it for the last two days just to try out the longevity. And it lasted me the whole time even going to the gym. I wore it for... 12 hours each day which is so gross but I don't really have a choice because I go to work and then I go to the gym right after and then I come home and wash off my makeup so it lasted through all that like and I was really going in at the gym I wasn't just like hanging out I was on the treadmill lifting weights so it lasted me all through that I'm not gonna cream contour today I'm just gonna set the foundation and then go in and highlight in bronze. Now I have the concealer and I wanna go in and try this. This will be the first time I'm trying it on camera with you, so we get a real reaction. I bought the shade Light Medium Beige. With the concealers, there was maybe four options that I saw in the store. It didn't look like it was sold out, it just looks like there was only four options available. And this is the Photo Focus concealer and this one is $3.99 so this concealer is four dollars to be fair I'm gonna color correct a little bit because that's what I always do and I'm the one reviewing the concealer so I'm gonna try it within my normal routine and not get tricky this is the first time I'm trying it the color looks pretty good so far If I didn't want to highlight, I would need one shade deeper, but I guess if we're highlighting that area, it's, a, it's an okay color. And this is all the places that I would normally apply my cream highlight. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge and blend it out because I just don't think there is a better way to blend out under eye concealer. I have to use a beauty blender. It blends out really amazing and it has beautiful coverage. Oh shit. It's a little too pink for me. I need a little bit more of a golden feel of this concealer. I need it to be more golden. But it does have a beautiful texture and blendability and it's really sitting nicely over the foundation. How exciting. <laughs> I love new drugstore shit because it's so fun while you're shopping for the fun toiletries. Well, before I say this, do you like to um, drugstore mosey? Like, do you like to just walk around Target 
or Walgreens or Dwayne Reed, just places like that and just like pick up random stuff that you don't need. Give this video a thumbs up if you do that too, because I do that. And then on top of it, you can go in the makeup section and do that at the same time. It's just so fun. It's like a way for me to relax. <laughs> I want to see how it bakes, so I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder, dip my beauty blender in, and bake my under eyes. While this is baking, I'm going to do a little zhuzh on my eyes, fill in my brows, and then we'll go back in and apply bronzer and blush and highlight and just see how the foundation and concealer works in combination with everything else and then finish this up. So I finished whatever I would want to do with my eyes for tonight, something really neutral. I wouldn't say natural, it's definitely dramatic for some people, but it's low key for me. So I zoomed you in, that way you can get a look at the foundation and what you think about it with the concealer. I brushed off the baking powder, but I think it's still a very good drugstore concealer, but for my under eye circles, I either needed more corrector or I needed a more golden concealer shade. And this is something I've experienced before, so I don't really ha think it has to do with the corrector. I just need a more golden concealer shade, basically, because the gold, the oranges, the yellows, those cancel out dark colors. So when you put pink over that, it just kind of makes it look ashy and gray. And it's not that bad in the viewfinder, but in, damn. <laughs> but in person, in my mirror, it's a little too gray for me. It makes me look older. It makes me look tired. And it's just not a good look. So I would need something more golden. I could definitely use it for blemish coverage, for spot treatment, things of that nature, but for covering my under eyes and making sure that area looks flawless, I don't think that's the concealer for me. But for so, but so far for the foundation, I'm in love with it. I love how it looks. I don't think it's settling into my lines. I think it looks beautiful with the powder. So now I'm gonna go in and do a little contour and bronzing highlight and see how all the powders on top work with this foundation. So this is my finished makeup look using the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. Overall, I'm impressed. Think about it. This is $6. Thumbs up right now if you like a $6 price range. I definitely do. This is the most inexpensive foundation that I've tried that I've actually liked. Sometimes Foundations are at a lower price point because they're missing ingredients, which can lead to disappointing you in the long run. Um, in the recent few months, my skin has been annoying me for multiple different reasons. Um, despite what you saw today, I actually have it under control. This is pretty much the last of it, if that makes sense. And it covered it really well to a place where I feel confident leaving my house, which is so important when you have acne prone skin, blemishes, rosacea, any type of skin discoloration that you're unhappy with, you need to leave your house feeling confident. And especially if makeup helps you feel that way. If you're not okay with um, showing your blemishes and you wanna cover them, you need to feel confident with your foundation and know that it's not going to embarrass you later. I definitely go through that. I tried this two days in a row and it's covered up that redness. Um, now you're looking at it with a full face of makeup with a full glam makeup look and on camera and I think it looks gorgeous. For this price range, for how available it is and the coverage and the formula, I'm very impressed. The only thing I have to say is I wish they had more color options because you can't beat this formula and the price range. But based off of the coverage, based off of the formula, it is Tini K approved. Wet n Wild, I hope you make more shades because I'm so impressed. This formula is amazing, the price point is amazing. And I hope you guys can, can find your color because I would use this in my freelance kit, which is hard to say because people pay me to give them the best face that they could possibly have. They pay a lot of money to leave feeling confident. So for me to say a $6 drugstore foundation is actually great and I would use it on people who pay me to do their makeup, that's a big deal. That's how much I like it. And that's really it. The only thing about the concealer that I didn't love was it's too pink for me. And that, again, that's a color issue. So 
I would need more colors available. Other than that, again, I love the price range and I love the formula. That's it for this video. Give me um, a comment down below if there's another new foundation you want me to try. This whole month, that's all I care about. I'm going to come back with the NYX foundation next that's on the way. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions, leave it down below so that way I can go pick it up and try it. If I haven't already, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because I discuss a lot of new makeup there as well. Also on my blog, it's tinacosnick.com and you could book me there as well. So I have a lot of social media platforms just so it's easier for you. I'm going to leave it down below. That way you can just click on it and find it easily. Click right up here to watch my latest two videos and subscribe, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!